pause it when it's slow. Yeah. So it's trying to sync up so they're crossing each other every time. It's What are you looking for on a rep like that? So, with me back behind, I, I'm making sure that her rear foot is actually hitting the back pedal so she's getting some pressure with that back foot. Um, and I'm making, I have lines down so I can make sure that she's projecting her hips and getting that first step out where it needs to be. Go! Does doing high jump practice feel easy after doing the hurdles or hard? Um, pretty good because it's the like order of events for the multi. I kind of like it because usually after the hurdles, I have like so much adrenaline and high jump is like loose and like calm. I have to like really change how much like energy I'm bringing into the event. But so I like practicing it after hurdles, like just a regular practice too. It's a little tricky though sometimes because for hurdles, like we do a lot more reps here. Yeah. So my muscles feel like. Like neurologically kind of shocking and then high jump is explosive so it's kind of hard to like turn it around but I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, 
went a little early with the shoulder, but look at off the ground. Look yeah. at the explosion off the ground. Boom. Now hold it. Look, you're still rising. Okay. So I need to kind of drag my Just knee Just right up. here. Hold that, hold that, hold that a little longer. This needs to come up as I like Yeah, I I think it's more here. It's it's more pressure up instead of letting things go to the bar as quick. See the difference there? I know. If we push okay, so here, let me, let me pull up. Let's watch that. So that pressure which is pretty good. Today was probably Aaron's best hurdle workout of the year. Um, you know, some things that we've been trying to clean up with her arm and her trail leg. Um, she was executing that well today. Um, she's starting to, you know, get the right mental focus that we need as we approach the championship season. Um, so I definitely see that in her. I see the, uh, you know, kind of the, the switch flipping going from the early season indoor meets to now starting to get into meets that are a little more serious. Um, so I'm really happy with, with how she looked today. Um, I've been working on some stuff in hurdles this year, so I'm really happy with how my like, start was looking with the bullet belt and without it. I think it was a pretty good day for me. and um, yeah, I'm excited. I've been working on my, um, like my arm to get lower so I stay tighter over the hurdle and I like, am wasting no time over the hurdles, which is exciting. Um, I'm trying to get back to basically where I was hurdling at this time of year last year which was like, I was in a pretty good spot um, speed-wise, so I'm trying to like get back to the same frequency, same speed, um, and like especially just get out and react to the gun. So today was pretty good. Well, high jump was good. Um, like I said, I've been working on my um, shoulder staying back like at takeoff, which I think is, is getting there. I've been like inconsistent with it the past few years, which I think is um, gonna be like a big factor in me clearing the next bars. Like, so I think that's exciting, and today wasn't amazing but I like I said it's like the days where you learn the most so I was like I feel pretty confidently about high jump I guess going into ACC's and uh, NCAA's and stuff so I think today was overall pretty good um, definitely like a lot more work to do and a lot more form to correct but I think it was pretty good overall.